A rare open state Senate seat drawing three familiar names in Michigan politics. And I'm Mark Heisinger. Tommy Brand. Um, so I'm Kevin Green. All are vying for the GOP nomination and to represent the 28th district, which covers several Kent County cities, both north and west of Grand Rapids. Both Brand and Heisinger are sitting state reps. I wouldn't have done if I was still wouldn't represent Byron Wyoming because that's my district. Uh, I'm currently the state representative for the 74th district, which is really the western part of Kent County. Well, Green is a former state rep, serving a full six years. Well, I wasn't necessarily planning on getting back into the legislature, but I really saw a need. But let's see where they stand on the issues. First off with state rep Mark Heisinger. The former mayor of Walker and small business owner wants to make sure that people are getting back to work and that taxpayer money is being put to good use. Be smart with the taxpayer dollars. Let's be good with government dollars. And, and right now we're in a strange situation with so many dollars coming from the federal government that we have to use those dollars judiciously and make sure that they're there for the right reasons and to help people. State Rep Tommy Brand is also touting his small business background. The owner of the Brand Steakhouse chain wants to bring that experience to the legislature's upper house. This is full of experiences here after 50 years. I've seen it all. He wants to give more funding to police and K-12 through education. I'd like to case, take some of that higher ed money and bring it back to K-12 through and revenue sharing. And, but I really want to focus on K-12 through because I think that's, that's really so important. Current Algoma Township Supervisor Kevin Green wants to head back to the Capitol because he doesn't think enough people are stepping up. He calls Lansing a mess. Taking action is very important to me. And when I was a whip, again, we, we stopped things that didn't make sense. We got things done that did make sense. I don't see a lot of that, especially last year was terrible. These GOP candidates also label election integrity as a pressing issue, and they all support a controversial 39-bill election package currently in the Senate. Green is also calling for a forensic audit of the 2020 election, and Brand supports one despite a sitting GOP senator's report that deemed one not justifiable. Uh, I really want to nip this uh, issue in the bud. There's 50% of the population is really concerned uh, about uh, the election integrity. Uh, so we, we have to restore confidence. Uh, we can't really go forward unless we do that. And, uh, he did leave some, a little room that there was some fraud in there. He didn't, he didn't shut the door on that. So I, I'm not against if, if a forensic audit comes up. I, I, I will I will vote for that. As you probably know, every time there's a, an election, uh, over 200 election audits are conducted by the Secretary of State uh, each time. And uh, those election results have not indicated that there's fraud. In Kent County, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.